to talk about something that's kind of giving me a headache today. Coffee. <laughs> White coffee is bad for us. Um, now, there's sometimes some people will argue with um, and say there are studies that show coffee are beneficial to you in certain ways. Those are very small, limited studies. I'm going to explain it in a way that I think applies more to people in the weight loss world, okay? First of all, why are we drinking coffee? What's the chemical we're after? Caffeine, right? So caffeine causes that buzz or the hyperactivity, true? That's what we're after. That's why we want to wake up, perk us up, keep us awake during a long lecture, that sort of stuff. But what happens if you keep drinking a lot of coffee? What happens to the buzz? Does it stay the same? Uh, no. no. It diminishes, right? Mm -hmm. So in order to get the same level of alertness, you have to do what? Drink more. more. So you're going to have to drink more. All right. Is that the truth? Yes. I mean, that's pretty much the truth for a lot of people. Now, there are every now and then, there are these people who can drink one cup of coffee. We call those people freaks. <laughs> you know, that's not natural to drink one cup of coffee. What's wrong with you? If you're going to drink coffee, do it upright. No, but some people can do that. That's fine. But what you'll find is usually for most of us over time, the, the, uh, the awake feeling like goes down. But caffeine also does what to our body? It's a, yes, it's a diuretic. Which, diuretic. Oh, I just spell it. Ugh. Which means what? It takes the water out of your yes. body. Yes, it makes you pee, which equals dehydration. Now, right after surgery, what's your number one goal? Hydration. hydration. Stay hydrated. True. If it's hot in the summertime, what are you trying to do? Hydrated. Stay hydrated. But most people will start their mornings with two or three cups of coffee. And they're running to the bathroom all day long. Right? Now the worst thing, now they don't think this way, but this is the truth. If you're drinking a lot of coffee and you don't go pee, people go, I don't have to pee. I can drink all the coffee I want. It's like, <laughs> what does that mean? Your body is really dehydrated and it's holding on to any pee. It won't like let you pee. Couldn't that hurt your bladder? It totally hurts your kidney you infections, bladder, etc. Okay, so we've already said that the more often you drink coffee, the more you have to drink to get the same buzz, but also has a more of a diuretic effect on your body. It's going to dehydrate you, okay? Number two thing, and this is kind of what's uh, where we talk about weight loss here. Now, how do you drink your coffee? <laughs> so you got sweetener, however you want to call it, and creamer of some sort, right? I used to joke, I like my coffee like I like my women white and sweet, but <laughs> I used to put a, put a lot of sugar and cream in my coffee. Well, Kizzy's mom got really mad at me for saying that, so I had to stop saying that. But. So for me, it's, you know, one, one spoonful of sugar. But for a lot of people who struggle with their weight, they don't use sugar. What do they use? Sweet stuff. So uh, artificial stuff, right? So pink stuff, blue stuff, yellow stuff. And I talked about that in a video a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Those artificial sweeteners are anywhere from 200 to 500 times sweeter than sugar. Mm -hmm. Not one or two times sweeter than sugar. Some of them 600. Right? Yeah. 200 to 500, 600 times sweeter than sugar. So if you're putting two packets of the yellow stuff in your coffee, Yeesh. will blueberries ever taste sweet? No. no. Will bananas ever taste sweet? Or apples? No. Right? And then you have your creamer. And that can be your half and half, right? But most of the time, it's what? Powder. It's that artificial stuff, right? It's that instant creamer, the hazelnut flavorings. Amaretto. Amaretto flavorings, right? So you're adding a lot more chemicals. And it's also increasing the sweetness. Which all of that's going to end up driving your sugar cravings. Because we talked about that. These artificial sweeteners <coughs> don't satisfy your sweet craving. It actually drives it. So now you're going to be looking for snacks. Now, if your coffee is already <coughs> white and sweet, is a banana going to do it for you? Mm -hmm. 
So what do you have to eat with your coffee in order to satisfy that sugar? A donut. Oh, a donut. Like really? A really? <laughs> muffin? So pastries, right? And then we get tricked into saying, Oh, it's okay. They're breakfast pastries. <laughs> <laughs> and breakfast is important. It's the most important meal. You gotta have your breakfast pastries. Like, no, those are desserts. In any other country, they would be called desserts. Is that true? It's totally true. Okay? So now at the end of the day, you're increasing your calories. But Dr. Vong, it's a low calorie creamer, yeah? Well, it's only 40 calories, Dr. Vong, but yeah, it's a 40, 40 calories per squirt. Hmm. And you're putting like four or five squirts, <laughs> blah, 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 like it's going out of style. Having coffee with the cream. Yeah, and then that's only one cup. You have two cups. So here's the problem. You keep drinking coffee like this, eventually it leads you to the devil. <laughs> Starbucks. Uh, see, all of y'all there. Oh, he lives with us. So. <laughs> So by the time you know it, you've got one of these grande mocha loca, I don't drink stuff, I don't know. And the only question is, not how big do you want, but how much whipped cream do you want on top of it? You know? You pumpkin spice it, you do all sorts of stuff, and then before you know it, you have two or three. Right? So, a large, skinny, vanilla latte because it's skinny has how many calories it's a thousand calories oops i put dollar all right so if you're having two or three of these guess what well your surgery is screwed your surgery has no chance problem is like you're sitting there thinking but i hardly eat dr Vaughn. why am i not losing weight does that make sense <laughs> Can't take you anywhere. Okay, so y'all got that? Problem with that? Now, number three, and this is the problem really for a lot of uh, weight loss surgery patients. Now we're talking about weight loss surgery patients. Coffee, is it acidic or is it neutral or is it basic? Acidic. 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 So it's acid, it's very acidic. And we know that a lot of times when patients have sleeves, it's a very acidic environment because of the high pressure system. So your sleeve already tends to be high in acid. So if you're suffering from heartburn and you keep drinking your coffee, what are you doing to your sleeve? You're burning the crap out of it. All right, so you're, so y'all write this down. I'm burning it. Damn it. I know, you're burning it. So eventually you pour enough coffee into your sleeve, especially if your sleeve's too tight or has problems. Even if you have a bypass, if you have a gastric bypass, bypass ulcer, by, your bypass pouch is tight. You keep pouring hot coffee into it, it's gonna inflame those tissues, it's gonna make it tighter, which makes the heartburn worse, which now you can't eat at all, which now you say, oh, if I drink milk, it makes it feel better. Make acid you see what I'm saying? Now you're stuck in this bad cycle. And the thing you needed to do was stop the freaking coffee. coffee. Okay? So, so if you have weight loss surgery and you're suffering from heartburn, you need to stop the coffee. Now last week I talked about being rigid. It was funny because when I posted my challenge and I was like, who's ready to give up alcohol and coffee? People go, I can give up alcohol because I don't drink, but my coffee, hell no. <laughs> That's what I call being rigid. Mm -hmm. But what if you're having the complication? What if you're having a stricture? What if you're having tightness? What if you're having terrible heartburn and your attitude is, I can't give up my coffee? Mm -hmm. Come on now. You know, you got to be flexible to these things. Mm -hmm. There's um, one of the things that we can do is if you look up Stoic philosophy, um, Seneca, one of the Stoic philosophers, talks about once a month, you need to like give up all the good stuff. Like you need to eat the simplest foods. You need to drink nothing but water. You need to sleep on a hard surface. You need to mm -hmm. fast and go without eating for a few days. And the reason why is not to prove to yourself that you can do it, but it's just to like to eliminate the fear. The fear that if, if I had to do this, like, oh, that wasn't so bad. I could make it. 
And when you do that, it really releases a lot of like stress and fear and emotion associated anxiety. with food and anxiety in your situation. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Sound good? Sound good about coffee? Mm -hmm. Y'all cool? Dr. Vaughn here. If you like this video, I hope you will come learn from me live in person at my first ever Dr. V Weekend Workshop. I'm calling it Unleash the Sleeve Within. All right. So it's in Albuquerque, March 23rd through the 25th. There's a link to it below the video. I hope to see you there. Cool. Bye.